Clay County neighbors are frustrated about a new neighborhood proposal they say the area can't handle. Action News Jax told you last month the neighborhood calls for 58 more homes than what the land was zoned for. People living nearby tell Action News Jax Finn Carlin it'll bring chaos to the place they call home. From a new neighborhood to a new school, County Road 315 is seeing a lot of change. And it could soon keep coming. It just seems like square, square peg trying to go into a round hole. Curtis Akim lives in Willow Springs, off County Road 315, not far from Ryan Marcy's, who lives on Shed Road. An old dirt road attached to Willow Springs. It connects County Road 315 to Highway 17. It's now the site of a proposed 62 home community to be built on land only zoned for four homes. It's just going to cause a lot more chaos. If you drive off County Road 315 onto Willow Springs Drive, the street's about 45 feet across, but it condenses to around 24 feet when it meets Shed Road. And with the chance of more than 150 new cars driving through here, homeowners don't want the county going down that road. Our road is not wide enough to allow vehicles parked on the road and then buses and everything to get through. Curtis and Ryan say Shed Road already sees a lot of traffic. I saw some of it during our interview. A construction vehicle going down Shed Road with a trailer. Yeah, we can hear that right now. There it goes. The road also sits near two FEMA flood zones. After last month's heavy storm, Ryan says it was underwater. Shed Road after a day of rain. I reached out to the developer of the proposed neighborhood. They didn't want to speak with Action News Jax, but say they've already made changes to address the concerns. For Curtis and Ryan, they don't want to shed part of their home. If, if this get, goes away, you're not going to have the rural atmosphere that a lot of these people have moved here for. Holding on to what they know, as the area sees more of what's new. For local coverage you can count on in Clay County, Finn Carlin, Action News Jax.